It was the largest, most complete T-Rex that had ever been found. It's a very complete specimen of T-Rex. It's probably about 85% complete. Uh, the animal is uh, something like 40 feet long and about 17 feet tall when it's all put together. And it represents an animal that when alive would have weighed something like five or six tons. 65 million years as far as how long ago it lived, 18 years as how old it was when it died. <laughs> They're packing up the Wankel T-Rex, getting it ready to ship off to the Smithsonian. What we're doing today uh, and the rest of this week is we're taking an inventory of each fragment and each element that are in these 16 crates before they go on the truck to be transported to Washington, D.C. What you're doing is you're examining every bone and you're taking a look at it and you, and you describe each bone or bone fragment. The team determines whether, you know, what type of condition it's in. It could be in fair, good, excellent. It'll vary depending on uh, how it was preserved in the first place. Then there are a bunch of small fragments that are in boxes within these crates and they're wrapped in different foams and packing material that have to be unwrapped in order for us to, to inventory and get a condition on and photograph. We're photographing every, every piece as well. It was found by Kathy Wankel um, in 1988. And she came across some fragments, not knowing what they were. Brought them to the Museum of the Rockies a couple of months later. Jack Horner was there that day. I had never seen bones like them before, but I recognized them right away as being the arm bones of a Tyrannosaurus rex. And they were the first arm bones of any Tyrannosaurus rex. The Corps of Engineers are stewards of this fossil for the American people, so it actually belongs to them. And that's why it's going to the nation's museum. The dinosaur is coming to Washington to live at the National Museum of Natural History for the next 50 years. When the term of the loan is up, it'll be coming back to Montana. We're ready to go. We are the lucky ones. We are the only ones that have ever done this. My husband is the coolest uncle and grandfather in the world because he gets to haul the T-Rex across the country. Sad? No, not at all. I'm happy to see it go. We have a number of T-Rexes here. This is Montana, this is where they come from. I think it's great that, that we can share one of our specimens with the Smithsonian and that it will be the most viewed T-Rex in the world. <laughs>